Last year, we removed a lot of cedar trees. We burned them, and then we planted the fields. You gonna throw out sunflower seeds? We found a land improvement manager who owned a fecund mulcher. This is an attachment that goes on the front of the bobcat. We hired him to come out and clear a large one acre plot for us up in our woods where we were able to mow down all the cedar trees. Once where they were on the ground, we mulched them up and then we were able to do a controlled burn and clear off a big space that we could plant for deer food plots. We have a four acre clearing in the middle of our property. This used to be heavily populated by cedar trees. We were able to remove all these cedar trees with a bobcat. Controlled burns are a great way to remove the duff off the top layer of the soil. They're also a good way to get rid of many, many cedar trees. You have to be careful while burning. The wind direction changed on us this day and caught a little bit of the canopy on fire, but that quickly died down. We were able to find a second property manager and he came in with his tractor and drill and we took up those cleared areas and planted sunflowers and soybeans. You could see how beautiful the grass grows in now that we cleared all the cedar trees and sunlight could reach the floor. We conducted a soil sample and found out that we could put more nitrogen, potash, and potassium into the ground and we went to the local MFA and picked up our fertilizer. After planting the sunflowers and soybeans, all we needed was a little bit of rain and all of our plants were starting to come in very nicely. My friend Terry helped us build a tower blind out of scaffolding that we bought from a stonemason. To protect the soybeans and the sunflowers from wildlife, we installed hot zone fences around the perimeters of all of our fields where we planted. This was extremely helpful in keeping the deer out of our food plots. When we get too much rain, this is what our creek looks like and there's no way for us to safely cross it. picture of the first shed we found on our property. In the fall, my son Landon got to spend some time on the motocross track, and here's a video of him going up and down this tabletop, 
Got a little squirrely at the end due to a mud hole. Landon got to get out and enjoy a little target practice today. The following season, we took a different approach with our planting and didn't do it on such a large scale. We decided to just brush hog, burn, and then broadcast our seed in the field. It saved us money. It was a little bit more labor intensive, but as you could see, the results were amazing. After brush hogging, we burned as much of the duff off the ground as possible so that the seed could have really good soil contact when we broadcasted it. Then all we would need is a little bit of rain. Food plots didn't look like the soybeans from the previous year, but they sure did turn out nice and the deer went to town on them. It's amazing how much fun you could have throwing a rock into a bucket of water. We finally got some good snow. We'll see you next time.